Welcome to Lane Credit University. I really have some secrets here for you. I'm gonna teach you how to build your credit and strengthen your credit profile so that you can actually leverage credit in a more proficient manner so you can actually build your wealth while, while using credit as a tool and not abusing it, but using it and leveraging it. And this is a quick tip, also a huge lane hack. This is how you do it, people. You guys might, might have heard something called check systems. I haven't really found many videos that go in deep detail about check systems and how it can actually help benefit your credit profile. Most, pe most people that talk about credit don't really bring this up because they usually don't know that it's this significant and this important to know about check systems. This check system is about checking accounts, so they usually don't correlate that with credit cards and credit scores. So you don't really hear many gurus or people online talking about how to um, build your uh, credit profile by also uh, making sure that you're not in check systems. Let me explain why this is very important why a lot of people miss this because they don't really link the two and the reason I know this is because I was a HUD certified counselor for a 501c3 named NACA. I have all the proof to back it up. I have a background being a SCORE mentor as well through a small business administration that implemented PVP loan, EIDO loan. So I have quite a bit of experience and unique perspectives and I'm going to teach you guys the archive. Now, under the Fair uh, the Fair Credit Reporting Act uh, that's feder federally stated, uh, you're basically entitled every 12 months to a free check systems report. What that, sim what, what that sim essentially means is that if you're in check systems, that means you had a checking account or some type of account with a banking institution, you defaulted in it. So for example, say you have overdraft fees that you never paid, they closed your account. They, the bank can uh, actually, the banking institution or credit union can actually report that to check systems. Check systems is very, very similar to the credit bureaus. They're reporting agencies as well. Equifax, Experian, um, and TransUnion. They're very similar, except Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian, they uh, report credit uh, card defaults, loan defaults, financial defaults with banking institutions that loan credit to you or gave you credit or some type of loan. If you defaulted a loan, say you didn't pay it back or say you rip or paid it late, you get reported to Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. Most credit people online talk about these three credit bureaus, which is fine. There's actually a lot more credit bureaus and one of them that's a bit more unorthodox that people don't really talk about and I talk to different people that are credit specialists they don't even know about this so I'm gonna teach you guys a secret and again I was a HUD certified counselor I'm not talking out the Wahoo I really mean what I'm talking about so this is what it is people check systems if you default it in checking account they, you'll be put into a system so that when banking so when you apply for another checking account right not a credit card just a checking account this is how bad it gets if you, if you get to, if you go to a banking institution and they basically run your check systems, not your credit, your check systems profile, and they see that you basically owe another bank or um, money for a checking account, or it was never paid or was defaulted, what they essentially will do is they'll actually not extend you a, a checking account. This is not even a credit card. Yes, we know that if you have bad credit, you won't get a credit card because you have, say you have a bad uh, defaulted um, histories on your Equifax, TransUnion, or Experian report. We know that. Credit, rep credit reporting um, bureaus, we know that. But people aren't really aware of the check system. You might have heard of it. You don't really know what it is. This is a strong uh, entity that can definitely benefit you and work against you. If you have bad histories and you're put into this system and it shows that you default on an account, the bank institutions won't extend a checking account to you. The reason this matters, people, is because what comes first, the chicken or the egg, meaning, People that have no credit or bad credit don't usually know how to start getting credit. There's a lot of different hacks. So for example, if you're trying to get credit, but you never had credit before, how do you get credit? Because they give credit if you've had credit and show you have good credit, right? How do you get credit though? So people don't really know this. They're like, okay, I want to get a credit card, but I don't have credit to get a credit card. So what do I need to do? Then they start becoming victims of identity theft and uh, these crazy offers where they play really high APRs. This is the secret, people. This is one of the many secrets. The first secret is this. You can actually sign up for something called a secured credit card. This has been mentioned quite a bit, but I want to really go deep in this. The reason this matters is because secured um, credit accounts, uh, secured card credit accounts are basically secured funds that you basically gave to the bank to collateralize them giving you credit. It's a real credit account, people. People, for some reason, think of it as like a prepaid credit card just because, say, the bank asks you for $300, right? And that's usually what the uh, fee is. It's usually you have to pay maybe about $250, maybe $300. And then what happens is they put it in a reserve CD, a certificate of deposit account, a banking account, not a credit account, a banking account, where it could usually grow interest. 
at a slower rate, but it grows interest and they extend you credit because they collateralize. So they are giving you a real credit card. It's not that it's some prepaid card. I've had some crazy uh, opinions and people telling me, hey, isn't it a prepaid credit card? Because look, I gave them $300 and they gave me back a $300 card. It's not real credit card. It is a real credit card. It's not a prepaid credit card. A prepaid card does not report to your credit bureaus. Um, so when you actually give them this collateral, doesn't matter if it's $300, doesn't matter if it's $400, doesn't matter if it's 1,000, 10,000, whatever the amount is, you can actually give uh, you give them amount of money that they accept they'll extend you a credit uh, for that same amount you have there to the bank so that if you fail and you don't pay your bills or you default in payment instead of them like so, so they so they can trust you they'll just take the money that you owe them and close the account and report it to credit bureaus as defaulted but that way they can trust you remember you don't have credit so oftentimes you have to pay them and you're not really paying them because if you pay right and say you keep it for one year, two or three years, there's a term called where they allow you to graduate. What they, this means is that if they allow you to graduate, um, that means they can oftentimes give you back your money and then uh, basically graduate you, allow you to get an basically an uh, unsecured line of credit where there's no collateral. A secured card just means there's collateral. That's all it means. Don't complicate it. That's all it means, people. So what that essentially means is if you do a good job, pay your bills on time, and pretty much pay, make sure it's paid off every month, try to keep it under 10%. I do hear a lot of people saying 33%, 30% is one of the favorites. I don't like that person from my experience from dealing with my clients and also working with people as a HUD certified counselor. I know that yes, 30% can work, but you grow at a very slow rate. You grow your credit profile at a very slow rate. If you keep it usually 10% or below, you grow in an exponential matter. So depending on how fast you want to grow, up to you. But at least under 30%, but I would say 10% or below people. Seriously, just remember, this is only a tool. You should not be using this to buy groceries and have fun with it. If you want to, great. But whatever it is, you should keep it under 10%, in my opinion, 10% max. For example, if you have a $300 credit card, only spend max $30 for that month and pay, uh, and pay. make sure it's paid that same month. As soon as you spend the $30 from it, pay it back. If you have a $1,000 card, you put $1,000 down, only spend max hundred dollars from that and as soon as you spend it pay it right back right away so this shows history this shows this this shows the bank that you can that you're responsible it makes them want to trust you the reason that you have to collateralize and get the secure credit card with a collateralized amount is because they don't trust you yet you don't have credit or you have very bad credit that's the reason when you build your credit but you have good credit or at least a credit or your credit worthy in their in their eyes they will not allow they don't they won't require you to actually secure uh, or money they won't allow you to collateralize they won't care about that anymore very very important to make sure you do this people always make sure you speak with the bank institution call them meet them in person and then if, if you don't have credit say hey look I want to build my credit I want to I want to show and prove to you guys that I could actually deserve getting an unsecured line of credit can I get an unsecured line of credit first and foremost ask them that question maybe you don't even have to go the secure route if they say no you ask them about the secure route option and even if they do allow you to get a unsecured card it doesn't hurt to maybe open maybe two or three different credit cards at least one at minimum the reason but just make sure you pay it off in time only spend 10 percent and pay it off the same month that way you keeping the money anyway right you're collateralized you get it if you graduate and you pay off say one year or two years and you keep good payment histories because that, that's a big part of the credit report having credit history they look at that payment history then now you can actually ask and say hey look i paid this car off I paid this car off here's this car off. if you pay one car off two cars three cars three cars off they're secured it shows that you were responsible so very important ask them and say hey look i, I want to build my credit i have bad credit or i have good or or even if i have good credit especially if i have no credit i want to build my credit profile you ask for that ask for secured credit card so they, the usual amounts, lowest I've seen is about $250, average is about $300 you have to put down. Very wor much worth it. That's how, that's the secret to build credit. The next step, you can actually ask for secure uh, loans, actually. It's your own money. Say you bring $500, right? They put the money in a CD, certificate of a deposit. They put that there and they put, this, uh, they put that money there. They'll extend you a loan. You're basically paying back the loan, but it's just a loan that they give you but they already have the money. So you're really just paying it back. So every month you're paying it and at the end of the loan, they'll give you back your money. Great way to do this. This is a great way to build your credit profile on Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. Very important to do this. This is how you build yourself up, build your credit profile, and you build banking relationships. Very important and not often talked about enough. Again, I was a HUD certified counselor. I know this. 
banking relationships are very important. If you want to do business with a bank, banks are a business. They need to make money. They want to make money. They make interest off your money. They leverage you as well. Very important to understand, pay them right, treat them right, and they'll treat you right. So becoming their friends by opening accounts with them, they get paid for that. And then benefiting them and also showing that you're a safe, conservative bet, you're not risky, they'll be more than happy and more inclined to give you credit with their banking institution. Yes, other banking institutions will see your credit profile that you paid this bank off, but the bank itself, they'll be more favorable to you. So if you know there's a bank that you like, go to that bank and open with them so you become friends with them and you're a benefit to them and you show that you're conservative, you're, sure you're a good bet, you're not risky, you're a conservative bet that they know they'll get their money back from you. That's how you do it, you build it up. Same way it goes, like I said, the business secured loan. Ask for that business, what if they offer a business, uh, sorry, offer. ask if they offer a secured loan. And on the business side, you can ask for a business secured car. Same exact steps I mentioned before, and also same business secured loan. So that's four secrets I just taught you guys. For personal side, you can ask for a secure personal card. Second, you can ask for a secure personal business, uh, sorry, a secure personal loan. Third, you can ask for a secured business credit card. Four, you can ask for a secured uh, business loan with your own money secured as a collateral. This is how you build banking relationships and then they report this. And the reason it's so important because remember, I keep saying CD, CD, not a, not a disc, CD, like certificate of deposit. It's another account. If, you ha if you're in check systems, banking institutions, even if they tell you or not, even if it's not popular a notion, they look at different reports. They don't always just look at, remember they have your social security number. They don't just look at your credit reports at all times. They might look at check systems. Just because you even have good credit, but if you're on check systems, for example, they could ask, it's up to them, they make the rules, they could deny you. They don't have to extend credit to you. They don't have to tell you, they might just say, it just wasn't in our best interest. I've seen this happen. Like I said, I've been on the other side where I worked for a banking institution, and also a nonprofit, NACA, and I was a HUD certified counselor where people got denied because they're in check systems. If that's what they're supposed to do or not do, doesn't matter. The fact is people judge you based off of your payment histories, and that is also taken into account. Oftentimes, people on YouTube and different video gurus only talk about credit bureaus. It's very important to clear up your check systems. Check systems record, if you have a bad derogatory check system, it stays on file for five years, people. Five years. You don't wanna to have to wait five years just for it to fall off just to start building your credit. Build it while you can and do your part. However, there's something called second chance checking accounts. You can do that too, second chance checking accounts. What second chance checking accounts are, people that are on uh, check systems, that they allow you to open a banking account with them and you might just have to go that way or, or meet with a bank institution that offers second chance banking accounts so that you get a secure card through them. The reason I say is because if you get a secure card, there needs to be a CD, a certificate of deposit account that's open for you. But if you're in check systems, they don't trust you already, they might not want to extend the account to you. See how to connect? Because to get a secure card or secure business loan, they put that into an account. So it's not a credit card. You know what I mean? So if you don't protect yourself and actually strengthen your credit profile and also your check systems profile they might not even give you the opportunity to get a secure card because they don't want to extend a card to you some banking institutions also the requirement is to actually uh, like a credit union so oftentimes they'll say you have to open up a savings or check account with us for it to be a member with us they won't even extend that to you if you're in check systems for example so important people so very important so please yes Experian, TransUnion, Equifax is very important. Yes, credit card debt and defaults are important, but so is a uh, check system. People often only focus on the credit bureaus and wonder why they're not building their pro pro uh, profile up because they don't see the information that we see on the other side. If we're approving or if we work for the bank institution, they don't see that check system is so important. So follow my screen through. I'm a t I am left the links below to many different articles that go in deep detail about check systems, about secure credit cards, secure um, se secure credit cards, secure uh, loans, secure business loans, secure business credit card loans. It's all below. I left different articles to cite, uh, cite that. I also left down um, the direct link to the check systems and also how to f pull a free report. Same with credit bureaus. Credit bureaus give you basically f uh, free, they give you um, access to a free report from each credit bureau, which is pretty cool. The way to get a free, um, sorry, which is your right, a free check systems report Follow the link below. I'm gonna share how to do it. I'm gonna share my screen with you, and you're gonna see you can do it right from the comfort of your home. You can dispute if there's any uh, inaccuracies, but very important. So you can at least know what the bank see. If you don't know what the bank see, how can you better yourself? You can't better yourself if you don't know what they're using against you. 
just because you have a good credit score, a bad credit score, if you, if your check system is trash, they're not gonna extend credit to you. That, sorry to say it like that. That's just true. So you gotta clear it up and at least know what you're dealing with. If you see that they're, if you keep being denied, 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 see what's on there. And if it's something's on there, you might have to consider second uh, second chance checking accounts. I left those below too, an article that goes into second chance checking accounts for people that are on check systems. So that way you go to those banking institutions and ask them, hey, do you guys offer secure credit cards? So that, that way they're more inclined to give you opportunity to have a secure credit card. That's how bad it is. If your check system's all screwed up, you don't even have a chance to get a secure credit card. A secure credit card is for someone who doesn't even have credit. They're, they're, they're saying you're worse than someone who has no credit or bad credit very important i love you guys follow me through and i'm gonna teach you guys a lot you're gonna learn a lot i'll take a lot of notes follow me through the screen so i can teach you how to get a free check systems report and how to actually clear this up for you guys i'm gonna get you guys strong here welcome to lane credit university hey y'all thank you for following me through this is the official site of check systems as it says on the top i left the link below in regards to check systems this is just gonna be a quick run through on how to actually really utilize this awesome system you can actually order your free check systems right here see free factor report learn about your rights to a free report request a report if you have been denied an account and check system was used in decision process you can request your consumer disclosure report to help you understand what led to this decision so if you go to banking institution as i mentioned before uh if you're rejected due to check systems you can actually ask them why and they can give you a copy and you can actually request a copy of it but every year you get a copy to the you get access to a free copy and access to your free check systems report it's it's your right actually and this is just a great system to figure out if there's anything on your record is maybe hey maybe there's some identity theft had maybe what if you someone opened a checking checking account in your um, name and didn't pay it and then it got closed and now you can't actually get a checking account or some type of banking account or even a secure credit card because you have this on your record really good just for just to be safe and just to be diligent and understand what's on your check systems report all too often, um, we only talk about credit reporting uh, agencies and bureaus, and we only talk about Equifax, Experian, TransUnion, which is definitely beneficial and definitely important. But all oftentimes, most people forget about check systems and don't even know that this even exists. And again, a hack on how to actually get credit fast if you have no credit, because yes, say you want a credit card, but what if you're not given a credit card because you have no credit, right? So you can actually open up a secured credit card, a personal credit card, or a secured uh, personal loan, or a secured business loan, or even a secured uh, business credit card with just money that you put down as a collateral. They put into a certificate of deposit, CD, and what that is is just another account that's open for you where they put the money there and they extend the credit card to you in that same amount that you put in the CD so that if you default, they have the money uh, there in their possession. It's just a way to collateralize the basically the loans uh, or the credit card they're getting. So it's a real account that reports to three credit bureaus, which is very, very important. So very important to clear your check systems up. Please take this seriously. I gave you guys secrets here. See, th for absolutely free, as I promised. This is what Lane Credit University is all about. I wanna give back to the people. And also again, and your any derogatory information from checking accounts can definitely uh, affect you in an ill matter where you can't open up new accounts, can't get a secure card potentially, might even get denied for credit card and auto loans and house loans. Even though they say they use your credit reports, it's up. It's their rules. They can use even check systems if they want to. Just because you have a good credit score, they might look over and see that you have a terrible check systems report and not want to extend you credit or a home loan, or they might charge you unfair or fair high APRs very very important to get this taken care of people take a good look at this and i like again uh, like i said earlier i left the uh, links below straight to this i'm gonna go i'm gonna even go a little bit further let's look at these frequently asked questions you guys might have questions look who is check systems explains it right here see check system is a nationwide specialty consumer reporting agency under the federal fair credit reporting act fcra and again i was a, a hud certified counselor this is what i did i would help people try to strengthen their credit profile try to understand so they can get home loans get approved for auto loans etc my goal i have a background in helping people and i want to help you guys for absolutely free i'm not charging you guys anything please take notes of this i'm using my time here to teach you guys please and again i'm not perfect i'm not your attorney i'm not your credit counselor i'm nothing to you i'm just your friend on youtube who learned a lot of secrets that i want to share with you guys look at this it's check system the credit bureau 
Check Systems Inc. is a nationwide, nationwide, people, that's a big deal, specialty consumer reporting agency governed by the federal, this is federal, Fair Credit Reporting Act, FCRA in parentheses, and any applicable state statutes. Very important to understand this. Who has access to Check Systems consumer file? Check Systems is governed by the Federal Fair Credit Reporting Act. The consumer protection legislation is designed to ensure that the gathering and sharing of consumer information is done accurately, fairly, and with respect for the consumer's right to privacy. You can request a copy of your consumer uh, disclosure report at any time. In accordance with the FCRA, your consumer report can only be disclosed to others having a permission purpose legal right basically for that information examples a legitimate request includes according to your written instructions a business transaction initiated by you pursuant to a court order or federal grand jury subpoena your application for a license or other benefit granted by the government when consideration of financial responsibility is required by law child support determination and under uh, certain circumstances what if i still have questions contact us right there how does Check System handle online security? Check Systems currently supports online transactions using Microsoft Internet Explorer 8.0, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can read all that. <laughs> Let's keep going down, people. Look at this. This is important. How long does closed account stay on Check Systems file or current process to retain record of report information for a period of five years from the report date unless the source of the information requests its removal or Check Systems becomes obligated to remove it under applicable law or policy? See? A lot of good information here, but I'm going to finish. I'm going to stop there. Uh, just want to share the archives again. Uh, let's see, a real deep secret hack on how to build your credit is to make sure you have a clean check systems uh, profile. And if you don't, figure out how you can clean it. If you get it, this maybe it's not your information. So you got to dispute it and get it off of there. Same way you would do with the credit bureau. And you can also even add a note to it typically. And what you can also do, like I said, get a second chance checking account. Well, I left an article below that goes in detail about second chance for people that have a pretty bad check systems record, basically a bad credit score, think of it that way, before baking and try, it's like a banking score. Um, they'll help you and that you wanna to go to those banks and see if they offer secure credit cards, secure personal credit cards, secure personal loans, secure business loan and secure um, business credit card if that's what you wanna to do to build your business credit and also maybe to build your personal credit. These are good strategies to do this. A lot of people only talk about personal, a lot of people talk about only business. I talk about both, and so I have a background and history in both of these. And again, always do your due diligence. I highly um, encourage it, and I left links below so you can do your own due diligence. There's the information right here, look at that. It shows all the information from mail, telephone number, et cetera, fax number, and online website, and I left the website below as well. Again, this is how you actually build a strong credit profile. Not You don't always have to just focus on the three credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and Trust Union. You should always focus on and see the bigger picture. Go deeper. If you really want a strong credit, you want to get to that high 700 or that high 800, you got to really do it the right way from the beginning. It's not where you start. It's where you finish, people. Love you guys. Follow me on Instagram at, at Conrad Lane. If you have any questions or concerns, leave the comments below. Like, subscribe, share. Peace out. Love you guys. Carl Lane out. Subscribe. Peace.